Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of different stuff. We got some Supergirl stuff, we got some Flash stuff that we need to talk about. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so currently we're in the mid-season break right now, and obviously the videos are still going to be coming out. Please be on the lookout. I will try and do daily videos. It just depends on how much news and how many theories there are to talk about. Obviously, if you have video ideas, always send them in to me on Twitter, either via DMing me or tweeting at the DCTV show, or in the comments down below. That would be highly appreciated if you have any ideas that are good. Send them in. Alright, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, what we're going to be talking about today is a range of different stuff that I've been meaning to talk about over the past few days and I just haven't got round to it. I think some people have been talking about some of this online, some people a little bit less. So, first things first, let's talk about the Supergirl 100th episode party. So, just a few nights ago, they were celebrating the 100th episode because they finished it, and obviously they've done this with the Flash and Arrow as well, once they reached 100 episodes, and so it's, you know, just them, all the cast members come, well most of them, and they sort of get together, they celebrate it, and it was like a big whole event in Vancouver, and it looked like so much fun, I'm sure I'll have some photos on the screen right now, so basically, like, all the cast members were there who are currently in the show because, you know, they're in Vancouver and stuff. And obviously it goes without a doubt that not everyone can make it because it is in Vancouver and most of the actors who aren't on the show currently do actually preside in Los Angeles, which is quite a long way away if they don't want to just go up just for a party and they don't, like, have a job or something up here to do. So, that being said... Most of the cast members who were there were the current cast members, and there was only one person, plus also Elizabeth Tullock, who plays Lois Lane, who currently is not a regular show up for the party, and that is Chris Wood. So, obviously, Chris played Monel, and obviously, we're big fans of him on my channel. You guys know that, and I'm sure many of you guys are, so it was super exciting to see him reunite and be with the cast members because. You know, Chris hasn't been around in Vancouver for a very long time, like, you would presume that he would be in Vancouver a lot considering he's married to Melissa, but it's actually the other way. Melissa goes down to LA because Chris lives in LA, so yeah, he hasn't been in Vancouver for a long time. Maybe that's just because he was there for so long when he was the series regular on Supergirl, and, you know, he just wanted a break from the area and, you know, go back to LA because that's, you know, where the home is, so, you know, that makes sense. And so yeah, Chris was here, and Chris has been in Vancouver for the last couple of weeks actually, and so it seems like there is obviously maybe a reason behind it, apart from the 100th episode, because Chris, like I said, he hasn't been in Vancouver, and this is the first time in a long time that he has been here, so this has led us all to theorise, and I've made a video on this already, that he's probably going to show up in the 100th episode, I don't know if he's going to play a big role or not, but it seems like everything is pointing towards Chris Wood showing up as mon in the 100th episode, at least for a bit. So that's really exciting, and also the fact he's at the 100th episode party, because, you know, none of the other cast members who were there in the past actually were at the party, so this just excludes one person who we know is in the 100th episode, and that being Jeremy Jordan, who plays Windshot. He's returning for three episodes, he's filmed this stuff already in Vancouver, so, he wasn't at the party, I'm not sure why, I don't think he's in Vancouver currently, but apart from them, it seems like most of the people who were invited or turned up were the ones that are going to be in that episode, unless they're, you know, filming some small cameos that we don't know about, and, you know, they just couldn't make it up to Vancouver, so I really do think this leads towards the idea of, yeah, mon is probably going to return in the 100th episode, so I would stick around and look for that. Obviously, he's also filming Legacies. He's making his return to Legacies in the sort of Vampire Diaries universe. I don't know what they call it, because I don't watch it, but apparently he's returning to that show. Obviously, I think that's filmed in Vancouver. I could be wrong about that, but that's also a reason, but I don't know how long he would be filming that for, and he's been here for a while, so I feel like maybe he is making a cameo in the 100th episode, 
So, what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments down below, and are you excited just by the fact that Supergirl has made it to 100 episodes, and how many of you have been here since the start? Because I watched Supergirl since the very, very start, when the first episode came out, and I've been watching ever since, and I'm quite proud of that, actually. And I'm sure many of you guys have been around since the start as well. Alright, so let's move on to talk about some other stuff. Okay, so this is The Flash. The Flash is going to be returning on February 4th. And why is this a big thing? So, we are obviously currently on the break, and we're not going to be having any episodes of our DC TV shows for at least like a month. And we're going to be returning on January 14th for Crisis on Infinite Earths for the final two episodes of Arrow and Legends. And obviously that's technically, you know, a Flash episode as well because our characters are going to be returning in those two episodes. So it's not such a big deal, right? But the fact that we have those two episodes and then we have to wait all the way till February 4th, which actually isn't that far off, really. It's like 20 days after... I don't think it's like the biggest deal in the world because I believe without Crisis we probably would have had to wait until the end of January anyway so it's like maybe a week longer and we'll have some content you know 20 days before with Crisis on Infinite Earths to talk about and to you know go crazy about so I don't think it's the biggest deal however it's obviously a big break and it hasn't been heavily publicized so I thought I would tell you about it and let you know about that and the episode will probably and most definitely will actually deal with the aftermath of Crisis and, you know, everything after that. And, you know, is Earth-1 back? Has everyone survived? Who's dead? What's going on? Those are massive questions and I'm sure there's going to be many more questions that we're going to have going into, you know, Supergirl's new episodes, The Flash's new episodes, Arrow's, Black Lightning's, and Batwoman's. You know, everyone's going to have those questions and we're going to see the ramifications basically in those episodes. Okay, so let's move on to talk about something else to do with that actually, very very similar. So we've got the return of Keenan Lonsdale, he is back on set filming currently right now. He's been posting some videos and some photos over the last few days. He is officially returning in The Flash Season 6 Episode 14. Obviously Crisis was Episode 9 and Episode 10 is going to be the mid-season premiere which is going to be airing on that specific date on February 4th. So that means four episodes later we're going to have the return of Kid Flash, and I presume he's going to be in about two to three episodes. Something similar to how Wynn's showing up this season for three episodes. So I'm guessing Kid Flash around two to three episodes. We haven't seen him in a long time. We haven't seen him for about a year, I believe. It was the season premiere of season five. I could be wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been quite a while. And so Kid Flash is going to be officially returning, and he's set to face off against a enemy that we will know so I don't know if it's going to be an enemy we know from the comics or it's going to be an enemy that we've seen on the flash already but obviously going into the back half of season six we're going to have a new villain because blood work is gone and Eric Wallace the new showrunner for the season has said that they will have a new villain and they haven't hinted at any new person being the villain yet however we got the reference back last season to Red Death and that is the only hint that we've had to any villain so right now we are supposing it's going to be red death and i really do hope it's red death also the other hint that we got earlier this season was actually the godspeed stuff in episode one he introduced the concept of godspeed being in the past and there was a bunch of cloned versions which were like sort of animatronics because they made some weird noises as you saw in episode one of this season but we haven't gone back to that at all so also there is the idea of the black hole people and i think if we are doing the black hole stuff, which is heavily linked in the comics to Godspeed, I think that is something that may be happening. So maybe we will see the return of Godspeed. But I think Red Death will be linked probably to Black Hole if they do do Red Death. So that's a lot of stuff to get excited about in the back half of the season in regards to the villains, but also the return of Kid Flash. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers we are only a few hundred subs off so it would really mean the world to me if you could share this video around on social media whether it's twitter instagram or whatever you use and share this video to your friends in real life as well who like the shows so i'll catch you guys later goodbye
Icy Road.